our planet's greatest resources, but don't be fooled by the seemingly endless sea of blue. Protecting Mother Nature means conserving water. We think we can save about 70% on the landscape water needs here. Robert Farnsworth is a professor at Saddleback College. He and three of his students came up with the design for a water conservation themed park in Laguna Beach. And demonstrate how homeowners can do that too. It all started as a contest held by the Wyland Foundation to get pledges from different cities to conserve water. Laguna Beach won in 2017. And thanks to a bunch of partners, Treasure Island Park is getting a priceless gift. We want people to come here and say, Smart conservation can be beautiful too. So come next year, this patch of green space along PCH will have a new look. The plants that we have here, some of them are from Southeast Australia. From Cleveland South sage South to succulents, the new park will keep the bees buzzing around, but by using less water. The biggest water waster is actually landscape. That small bit of it, that's 70% of the water that a typical homeowner uses. But saving water doesn't have to mean changing your plants. It can also mean just changing the way you water them. It takes advantage of a weather system. The Toro yeah. company will add smart controllers to the park, which can shut off the sprinklers if it rains and monitor the soil and something as simple as changing the heads on your sprinklers can save you hundreds of dollars too. Being wa larger water droplets it has more water when it hits the ground so it doesn't get evaporated. Whether it's a city park or your own front lawn being water wise matters and organizers hope having a space that highlights that just feet from the ocean will be a beautiful reminder of what we all should save. Joy Benedict CBS 2 News.